Hello everybody, Andrew Gray here again for another Subnautica. We are hunting for the third and final Seamoth fragment down in this place. It is night, the power on my torch is draining, and um, yeah, I probably could do with some more water. That was the last of our water, so we... Um, oh, something attacked us. So we kind of need to find the Seamoth fragment. Uh, and then get home and find some uh, what do you call it what do you call it that's that's good English just and find some um, bladder fish too in fact what we could do is we don't need we should not need that anymore so we can equip the rebreather oh no 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 we do need the radiation helmet, apparently. We are still in a radiation area. And we're missing out on all that lovely oxygen. I kind of want to wait today, but I know that's probably not the best thing in the world to do because we're losing precious time and wasted... Um, I was going to say energy, but waste resources, really. So all we need to do is find a sea moth fragment. There's just one more to find. And then we're all good and we can see what a sea moth is and think about building one. How are we for space? We've got loads of space, so let's grab that. We're just going to grab some of this as we go along as well. Because uh, food is good. And we want to stay away from those things as much as possible. So, there's some bladder fish around here, but if we get some oxygen, then we can hunt them. And they've all disappeared. Oh, they're all going in this cave. Yes, I'll have one of you. If there's one thing I've learned, it's I don't like going in caves. Uh... And that's not the idea of why we're here at the moment. The idea of why we're here is to get sea moth. And perhaps salt. I need to find another one of those purple brain things pretty soon as well, just so we know what's going on. 30% power left in the torch. Still no sign of a sea moth fragment. Ah, what's this? What's this over here? No, no, no. Salvage. Oxygen's about halfway. Uh, we need more oxygen pretty soon. Shall we head up? It can always dive back down again. It's a long way off this... Uh, yeah. Wow, it is quite a way down. Okay, let's head back down. Still no sign of this final well, this final fragment that we're looking for. I thought it would be around all this rubbish here, but maybe not. Metal salvage. Frame rate issue. I suppose it is early days for the game, so we can't complain about the frame rate issue too much. Um uh, I'm a little bit disorientated of where we are now. Gold! Always believe in your soul. Uh, oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. We're not... We're not doing that, I'm afraid, mate. 
Oh, you can swim away from him pretty easily then. Good. Still no fragments around here. There are bladder fish though. And I like bladder fish. So this is a uh, this is thrilling, isn't it? Watching me swim around trying to find pieces of something. But they must be in this kind of area, because this is where the rest of them are. We are running out of oxygen again, and I can't see any purple brainy things around. So yeah, we're going to have to go back up for air. Uh, The torch is running out of power, it's only got 8% left, and then we'll need to recharge it somewhere. We're really close to that, and I don't really like the idea of being close to that. Oh, that's the, the big whale thing. Where is this sea moth piece? Is that it? Can you guys see that? Is... That could be it. Yes. Awesome. Let's get back to base and then we'll figure out what this um, sea moth thing actually is and what it can do. Excellent. Well, that was a interesting outing, wasn't it? it? It wasn't the most thrilling, I'll give you that, but it was interesting. Let's head over here and see what we can see. Have we got enough food? We've got enough... We've got basically food, water... We could do with grabbing some more fish, I suppose, to cure for long-term food. I think we should be out of the radiation zone now, so we unequip... Oh, we, we've got... We haven't got enough room to unequip it. Oh, well. Um, that... That flare's still going strong. Let's just grab a couple of fish, then. They're too fast to catch. Uh, well, we have a fish, I suppose. Okay. Um, awesome. So, we are going to switch containers with that. And then we are going to... We need four in here, actually, in order to put that back again, in again. Uh, sustenance, we are going to get some cured... Whatever one of those is, which looks huge. Some cured peepers, is it? Or peppers, one of the two. Peeper. We're going to eat that now, I think. And then we're going to have some water. See, food's not too bad, because food you can pretty much find anywhere. You just pick up some fish and eat it. Water, you get a little bit from the fish, but not so much. And then um, you need this bladder fish to make this, this stuff with. There we go. Uh, and then we'll probably have... Yeah, we'll have a bit of water as well. So that should be able to unequip that, and then we'll equip this. We'll go here, and we will switch containers. And now we'll have a look at this sea moth thing that we figured found. Uh, a bioreactor. Interesting. Where's... Oh yeah, fins and silicone rubber, we need those as well. 
Ah, here we go. So we need titanium ingots, power cells, two lots of glass, and lubricant. We could probably make that, you know. And it's a one-person vehicle, which is very exciting. Uh, well, I think it is. We can actually... Wow, yeah. We can actually go around and... Um, do stuff. So what do we need for a titanium ingot, then? Um... Uh, Ten lots of titanium. Uh, four. So this will just be the the salvage we got previously. We'll just make that. There we go. Uh, we might, yeah, why not? Let's make some more. So titanium ingot. Oh, hang on a sec. How how do we build it? Oh, we can get a laser cutter as well, but we need diamond for that. I'm not quite sure how we build this thing. Um, Yeah, how do we build it? We can get all the bits for it, but how do we actually put it together? Huh. How do we make silicon rubber as well? Creep vine seed clusters. Okay, that's easy enough. Is it an electronic? No. Oh. Oh. No. Okay. So what else did we need to make this thing? Uh... A power cell. Two batteries and some silicon and rubber. So we need four acid mushrooms and two copper ore. So got two copper ore. We need four acid mushrooms. Which should be really easy to find because they just hang around a lot. One, two, three, four. Uh, so it was two batteries, wasn't it? And silicone rubber, and we get silicone rubber from some creep vine sea clusters. Now they take up a load of space. Um, probably want to store some of this. I don't have a lot of room. Can I make a... Yeah, we'll make a waterproof locker. It's awesome. And we will assign that to one. And then we'll just go down here. Uh... And what we'll do, just so we know where it is, literally just over here. We'll just pop it down. And then we can open it up. Excellent. Uh, so let's store that in there. And the salt. And the gold. And the lead. And the quartz. And those two pipes. And a first aid kit. Get some oxygen. And then we'll go and get some creep some of those creep vine clusters from over here. Alrighty then, so we need about four of these, don't we? Two. Yeah, and now we get out. I think we got five in the end, which is absolutely fine. We're not being followed by anything. Oh, they don't take up as much space as I thought. Did we put anything in here that we want to... 
that's not exactly what we wanted to do, was it? Ah, but interesting, it, it keeps all of its things in there. Um, we will take the quartz, we'll take the lead, we will take that and that, we'll leave the rest of it in there. We do need to go and visit that other, um, that other life pod as well. Uh, so yeah, we want to make some lubricant, don't we? Was it two of those we want to make? And then it was... Oh no, we wanted silicon rubber, didn't we? Idiot. Okay, let's see how that went. Uh, power cell, excellent. Okay. And two lots of glass, so we do need some quartz, and I think I took all the quartz out, didn't I? Oh no, here we go. Uh, so we'll grab some quartz. And we'll make that into... Into glass, was it? It must have been glass. I need another one. Uh, so we need another lot of glass. Okay, and now we've got enough to make... Is that telling me... Sunbeam, broadcasting to all survivors of the Aurora. We've covered more than half the distance, so hold on in there. We're scanning the planet for dry land as we speak. You couldn't have picked a less convenient parking spot. But we'll be in touch as soon as we have a landing site for you. Sunbeam out. Awesome, at least somebody's coming to rescue us. Uh, so... So yeah, now I've got all this stuff, how do I actually... Yeah. Do I build it like I would a habitat? Well, there's only one way to find out, I suppose. Let's get out there and um, and see. So can I just go? No, 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 no. Okay, then, how do I build it? Uh... Oh, they... A moon pool? I need to make a moon pool. I don't understand. Um, okay, but that's fine, I suppose. So I can't make it. I've made all the bits for it, but I can't actually build it yet. So let's go and put all of that in this locker. At least we've got parts for it, we just don't know how to build it. So what was it? Uh, it was... A power cell, a titanium ingot... Silicone rubber, glass. That was it, wasn't it? And how you build it? We need some more water now as well. Right, guys. Um, thanks very much for watching. Sorry, it was more of basically just. I really wanted to build a sea moth, but it looks like we can't until we get other stuff. So next time I think we will go and have a look at 
Uh, let's do manage ping. So let life pod four next time, which is all the way over there somewhere. That'll be an interesting journey. Again, we'll probably need to get stuff ready. Uh, these power cells are pretty full, I suppose. Guys, thanks very much for watching again. Please like if you like the video. Dislike it if you don't like it. Comment down below and everything. Uh, let me know what you think of the new quality because of the new renderer. And um, yeah, thanks very much and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.